Hey guys, James here again with Beard Wisely. Falls right around the corner, crispness in the air, pretty excited about it. Today we're going to do another review from Fable Beard Company. And this one is from their seasonal lineup. And there's four scents that we're going to be covering. And it's going to be a four part series. This is going to be part one of that series. And this one is on the Savior. And I have an oil and a butter that I'm going to talk about with you guys. The artwork on it, of course, as always, Fable doing their thing. Awesome artwork. So, the ingredients, coconut oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, sweet almond oil, essential oils, and fragrance oils. Now, this one ounce bottle cost me about 18 bucks. Um, I always have good things to say about Fable Beard Co. They have good products, natural products. Uh, I love a lot of their scents. The feel-in beard's good. Uh, you guys have heard me speak on them before. So let me talk about their description of the scent profile. A warm roasted pumpkin with a sweet vanilla bean, a rich spiced cinnamon, and a creamy toasted marshmallow is the way that this uh, scent is described by Fable themselves. Now, I've used this a bunch. Um, <laughs> be honest with you, I like it a lot. My wife, on the other hand, isn't as much of a big fan of it. So, there's a chance, guys, that maybe you'll like this um, and your lady may not. But, this is a good one. It's not that she does. It's not like she hates it. It's just she doesn't prefer it. She'd rather me wear some different scents out of the collection that I have. So let's dip into this. Give it a sniff. Hmm. Out of bottle, it smells awesome. Um, straight out of bottle, it smells. You definitely smell the marshmallow. Um. And, and and some spice. I know they say pumpkin, and I'm not a big spice pumpkin fan. I mean, it's there, but it's mild. It's not an overwhelming pumpkin scent. I know this time of year you get just bombarded with pumpkin spice this, pumpkin spice that. This isn't, I wouldn't associate this necessarily as pumpkin spice. You can definitely pick up on the vanilla and the marshmallow. That's there. And there's that spice. Um, my wife thinks that it has a bit of a burnt aroma uh, after a while. Like a, like a burnt marshmallow instead of a, a toasted marshmallow. And I don't get that. It's For me, it's just a toasted marshmallow. Um... Kind of like if you were camping, it's got a little bit of a smokiness to it, you know. So when you're thinking toasted marshmallow, think campfire toasted marshmallow. I like it. I think it's good for a pumpkin scented fall scent. If you're not somebody that's really into pumpkin spice, and I'm, I'm not a big pumpkin spice guy, but this one, this one does a good job. Let's talk a little bit about the butter. Same type of artwork. Ingredients, mango butter, cocoa butter, coconut butter, lippy nut butter, shea butter, beeswax, and fragrance oils. Give it a, open it up here and give it a smell. Mm. Now these smell different. More often than not, I mean, there's times when I find a butter and an oil that they're like identical. I can smell the butter, I can smell the oil, they're identical. This isn't one of them times. Um, if you can see, 
it's a smooth butter. This one's not as gritty as some butters. So this is a really nice smooth butter. It smells really good. Now the butter I haven't used yet. Um, the oil I've used a bunch. I just got this butter in on, on the last shipment. The oil I used a bunch. The butter I didn't have yet. So I just got the butter. But I've used enough of their butters that I know that I like it just fine. Um, I already know what to expect. I already know that there's a difference in the scent most of the time. I also know that sometimes the butters vary from being gritty to smooth. Um, so I'm definitely pleased with it. I like the scent. And once again, like I said, I'm not a super pumpkin guy. Uh, but they did a good job with this. I get more of that campfire toasted marshmallow and a little bit of spice with it. In beard, it feels great. As always, Fable never leaves me feeling like it doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel greasy. You know, it's not getting on your clothes. It's, it's, if you touch your beard, you're not going to have to worry about having a whole bunch of grease all over your hands. The scent lasts all day, pretty much. I mean, it, it gets milder as the day goes on. But if I take my beard, I can smell it at the end of the day. If I put it in in the morning at the end of the day and I go like this, I can still smell it. So the quality is top notch, hands down. Uh, scale of 1 to 10 rating, I'm going to give this one... I'm going to give this one a solid 7. And the only reason I give it a 7 is because of the fact, for one, my wife isn't as big of a fan of it. So I really like things that my wife likes because she's the one that gets close to me. Um, on top of that, it's just based off the fact that I'm not as much of a fan of just that profile. So to speak, it's not... It's not that I don't like it. I like it a lot. But it's one that I can get tired of. So do I break it out? Yeah. But for me, it definitely is a seasonal type of scent. I'm not going to use this one. I'm, I'm probably not going to use this one except for once in a while outside of fall. And it has to be because of the fact that I like it. I like the smell of it. And that's why I'd be using it outside of the season uh, that it was created in. So... Once again, two thumbs up, Fable Beard Co. Don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel, and we're always posting new content, so keep an eye out. See you again soon.